Alright team, I wanted to do a quick video on some Facebook tips for um, growing your uh, Facebook friends and a few tips I, I have for like kind of organizing your potentials and stuff like that. So first thing you're wanna, going to want to do, you want to be on your computer um, and just go to your, your home, click home and that will put you on your news feed with all your information kind of over here. Uh, scroll down to, let's see, what is it, friends, friends, and click more. This is going to bring up your friends and, um, and different lists. It, or, uh, sorry, it works. Ah, Facebook automatically does stuff like, um, your hometown, you know, it works global people, stuff you're already naturally connected, universities, schools, things like that. But you can actually create lists um, to add people to. I'll kind of show you how this works. So um, as you can see, a long time ago I did potential LCNDT. That was my first list I did. Um, I have a lot of people in that. So recently, over the last few months, I kind of did hot potentials, people I'm working with a little more closely. Um, and then I am trying to expand into Italy. It's on my dream board. I want a diamond team this year in Italy. Um, so I created an Italy list to kind of keep those separate. So it's really simple. All you got to do is click create, name, whatever you're wanting to do, um, and click create. Now I'll show you how to um, how these work and how to add people in it. First of all, I'll show you one way it works. So now I can click on, um, uh, let's say Italy. When you click on this list, now it is a news feed of just whoever you put in your Italy um, list. So it's, you know, um, just like we've learned with social media, um, just adding people and stuff like that is good, but the more you are um, liking and commenting, you know, nice pictures or, you know, oh my gosh, great selfie, I don't know, whatever you would say, um, you know, try to actually build a relationship. Like, I, you know, you can like that. Liking is easy. If it's something that you're naturally into, you know, oh, I love the park or something like that, you know, on this one, you could say, oh, that looks like a nice day out. Um, they're going, when you're commenting and liking, they're going to start seeing your stuff um, in their newsfeed more, so it just starts creating that relationship. So that's, that's one thing I love about the list, because you can just click on that list, each day you can go through, you can like, 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 comment, start building a relationship. So when you do send them a message to invite them into an online party, to let them know about our products, to see if they're interested in the business, then it's going to be way more well received um, than uh, if, you know, you're never looking at their stuff and never talking to them. So that's uh, one thing you can do. Let's see. Now... Another thing I love about the um, list is we've been talking, we do the online events almost every week now. So there's the one coming up. So if I want to invite, choose my friends, just going to bring up your friends list automatically, your total friends list. Um, but I want to invite my potentials. So I can pull up my potentials and make sure I'm getting my potentials invited and it just kind of keeps them in a nice list that really works well um, that way. So, and then I'll show you a couple more things you can do with it. But, um, so how I add them to the list. Um, you can do it at any time, but when my friend requests somebody and they accept, um, a little notification comes up here. Uh, let's see here. So here's Rosa Maria. She is somebody that recently accepted my friend request so I just click here and it shows we're friends so you just hover over the friends um, box here scroll down to add to another list and I'm going to add her to my hot potentials so now it will be um, checked on there and now when I click on my hot potential list she will actually be in there um, so I just I love these lists so I just um, add people to it as they are coming through um, okay 
she's actually okay. So I'll add her to my hot potentials. So um, that's how I get them added. You can also, if you're just starting the list, go create the list first. Um, let's see. Click on your name and go to your friends. Um, this is what I did when I very first started the list. So scroll through and these are all It Works people. Let's say um, my friend Brandy. Um, let's say I wanted to add her to um, my potentials. So I would just hover over the friends, go down, add her to whatever list I want to add her to, and now she will be part of that list. So um, now if you're going to make a post, um, if you really want to, like say you want to post a lot more before and afters to your potentials, but maybe not necessarily everybody on your news feed, you can say, wow, look at these results. Um, add your before and after picture. Sorry, let's just do that. Um, and if you'll see right here, it says public. So when I hit post, it's just going to go out to everybody on my friends list. But you can select it to go to your hot potentials. So, wow, look at these results. Let's see. I love my hair, skin, and nails. So now when I select Hot Potentials, I'm going to post it. And um, only the people on my hot potential list will see this post. So if you're a friend of mine, you know, go to my um, Facebook right now or just test this because you may be watching this months after I recorded this. Um, test it, you know, add people to your list and then post something and ask your husband or your mom or your friend to say, hey, do you see this? I just posted it and they're going to look in your newsfeed and, and or go to your personal page and they will not see this if you posted it going directly to Hot Potentials. Now the next time you go to make a post, make it automatically stand what you did last time. So if you want it public, make sure you go back and make it public and do do whatever you want to do. So that is why I love lists um, and a great ways to use those lists. Now, um, if you started like me with about 100 friends on Facebook, not loving Facebook or social media, it just didn't come natural to you. But now you're in it works. You really have some goals. Um, that's that's how it uh, came about for me. So I knew that I needed more people to talk to than the hundred people I had on Facebook, um, and I knew that I could reach a lot of people a lot faster with social media. So I started um, expanding my friends list. And first things that I did was just go back to people in my past that I used to never um, add. As a loyal cus um, I'm sorry, I uh, just got a text. I went through and added people from my past that I hadn't added on Facebook just because it wasn't really my thing back then. So go back and just add everybody you know, friend request everybody you know. And then um, go to your profile, click on friends, and let me see, let me find somebody. Uh, okay, so like this is a family member. Um, I can go to her profile, click on her friends, and we already have quite a few mutual, but, um, uh, sorry. She might have her friends, not blocked, but. Uh, she has her friends hidden, so I can only see our mutual friends. Let's go back. Let me find somebody. So basically, you can click on... Um, let me see. Do this. You can click on somebody's friends that you're already friends with, and then um, we have a lot of mutuals, but you can friend request... Come 
Okay, so now I could friend request one of her friends. And a lot of times these people will accept because when the notification comes through, it's going to show that you have one mutual friend. So that is a great way to start expanding once you feel like you've requested everybody that you know. So start going through your people on your friends list. Like here's one that we have three mutual friends. So I'll click add friend and uh, when she sees that notification come through, it's going to show. She may not know who Tiffany Chapman is, but it's like, hey, we have three mutual friends. I probably know her, so I'll go ahead and accept. When she accepts, I will click on friend request. I will add her to my potential list. She will not know that, by the way. That will not change anything for her. Just a way to kind of group your friends and um, it helps you to work your business. Um, so you do friends of friends. That has worked really well for me. Um, you get more accepts because um, they see those mutual friends. Now you can also just do random searches. So you could do um, something you're into. Let's say, uh, I don't know, hiking. Go to, uh, oh, sorry, pages. Hiking, sorry. <laughs> Okay, pages. Hiking addiction. Pages. Um, here's one. Hiking New Zealand. So we're open in New Zealand. So, you know, people that are liking these posts, um, if you're into hiking and maybe you live in New Zealand or you want to expand your team in New Zealand, Click on the likes and go through and add friends. You know, check them out. See if it's somebody you'd want to work with. Um, let's see. Yeah, Queensland. So, you know, just add friend requests. Click confirm if that ever comes up. Um, so, you know, find people that are already in something that you're into. Whatever that may be. Go find pages. Um you know, and friend request people that like those pages, and then and then you're naturally connecting with people that you do have things in common with, and that works out really good. And only friend request people that you would want to work with. So sometimes people are scared of this. They're like, what if I get creepers on my page? Don't friend request creepers. Uh, friend requests, you know, if you're a lady, friend request ladies that are into what you're into, other moms. Uh, fun people you'd want to work with you're you're in control of this okay and at any time you can unfriend them or anything like that to me Facebook social media is um, you know I make it look personal but it's business um, you know so put a few personal things in there but it's really for business if you're really serious this is crazy awesome tool I know it's a huge part of my success in this business, being able to work from home and connect with people around the world. Um, you can also join groups that you're, um, you know, you're already um, part of. Let's see, uh, let's see, wives of firemen. So this is a closed group. Um, but you can ask to join the group. So whatever you're into, if you're a twin mom, if you're a single mom, if you are, uh, if you have some type of illness, gluten intolerance, um, if you're on a Whole30 program, if you're into CrossFit, whatever you're into, go join groups. Um, and then once you get in there, don't spam everybody. Start commenting, um, really building relationships. You know, you can eventually start friend requesting people um, in the group too and just build those relationships. So it's really easy. So one other thing with friend requesting you want to be aware of is you don't want to do too many a day. Um, I'm not sure what Facebook likes anymore, but I say around 50 or less per day. Um, if somebody has updated information, let me know. But you don't want to go do 2,000 friend requests. I know Facebook will not like that, um, getting too crazy, too spammy. So um, every couple days, I will go to my friends list. You can do this from your phone, too. Um, click on friend request. These are going to be people who friend requested you that you, have, you can go through and accept or delete. Right under here, you can click View Sent Requests. These are going to be requests you have sent out, okay? 
Um, if it's been a couple days and they have not responded, like I just sent that one out. Y'all saw me do that. Um, you know, if it's been a couple days and they haven't responded, I will go ahead and cancel that request. Okay, see, now it says just add friends. So that request to her has been canceled because you want to keep your amount of requests out low. So every couple days, just go through and delete because if they didn't um, respond by now, they're probably not going to because, as you know, the friend requests come through notifications. So if it's been a couple days, they're probably not going to accept. So just delete and move on. So I started with 100 friends on Facebook. I'm now up to... 3,900. Um, always adding new is huge. Using the list is huge. And I hope this guy, this helps you guys.